Hi, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for March 21st through March 27th, 2021. I hope you're doing well. I do want to take a second here to remind everyone that this is a general reading. Therefore, it may not resonate with everyone. If you find it's not resonating with you, just check your other signs and placements and see if those readings might resonate a little bit better. Also, if you want a personal reading, there are directions in the box beneath this video. Simply email me. I will be happy to help you set that up. Um, also, Tarot is energy. Energy is interchangeable. So in a general reading, you might find that the roles reverse or flip-flop. If that happens, do not be alarmed. Um, and also timelines can vary. So keep that in mind. Um, after we finish your Tarot reading, I am going to pull the Angel Answers Oracle. So Get a question in your mind and in your heart, and we'll see if we can get you a direct answer for that question. Um, so what we're going to do here, Gemini, I'm going to pull your energy. We'll pull the energy of the person you're connecting with, as well as the energy of the connection itself and an outcome. So let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Gemini, please? All right. Okay, so... Gemini, you start out with a page of wands in the reverse. We have the king of swords, and there you are, showing up bright and shiny in your own reading. And coming out together, we have the seven of cups, along with the page of swords in the reverse. Okay, so with you coming out so strong in your own reading, uh, Gemini, I do feel like you are definitely seated in your power, which is a good thing. Um, so high vibing and seated in your power. But that being said, um, with the page of wands in the reverse, there's something you're kind of keeping quiet about. Um, you're not, there's something you're not discussing, you're not talking about. And the reason I feel that you're not is because there, there might be a little bit of confusion about whatever it is. You, you feel like you just don't know enough and that's causing you to feel a bit confused. Um, and so I, I feel like you're kind of keeping quiet on the subject, but at the same time, you're, you're really seated in your power and, and you're using discernment too, which I really like for you. Um, you're using a lot of discernment. I feel like you're being very fair. Um, you know, you're, you're just, you know, being a, a typical air sign, a typical Gemini, but definitely feeling very powerful, which I love. However, keeping quiet, keeping your own counsel, and it really has to do with a little confusion because you just don't know everything you need to know right now. So let's see um, who you're connecting with, Gemini. Okay, so we have the King of Wands. You might be connecting with a fire sign. Don't have to be. If you are, though, it may be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. We have the Lord of Shadows. And we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Could also be a, um, it could also be a Earth sign, which would be Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But again, we have all the signs in our chart, so I don't like to get too hung up on the signs. All right. So this is what I will tell you. The person that you are connecting with, um, the they're probably a very charismatic person. I would find that this person would be um, most likely um, very appealing to, you know, others, um, male and female. They're probably very outgoing very um very much of a a go-getter you might find that they are a in a position of authority such as a boss or even an entrepreneur um, this person is charismatic this person likes to get things done they um they're not one to just sit around and they're not an introvert they're they're very um they're very charismatic so um I think that this person, though, is going through a period of transition. There is something that they're, they may be ending something. They may be ending something or there may be um, a transition of some sort internally for this person. Because with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, the King of Pentacles shows up, the King and Queen of Pentacles are the married or committed partners. 
Um, and the King of Wands can kind of be a little bit of a player sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Um, but the King and Queen of Pentacles is the married or committed player. So this person may be ending a connection and they might be enjoying going back out into the dating world, back out into, you know, the um, being able to, you know, see other people again. So this is the transition that they're going through. Okay, so let's see um, the energy of this connection. Let's see the energy of this connection, please. Can I see the energy of this connection, please, for Gemini? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. So there was conflict with this person. So I'm not clear yet if this person that you're connecting with, if this is a transition out of a connection with you, or if it's a transition out of another connection, and you may not know enough about this person yet to make a, a decision. What I can tell you, though, with the connection is that there was some form of a conflict with this person, but it's over. Whatever that conflict was is over, um, but this was a kind of an ego-driven conflict. So, you know, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a productive conflict. What is directly affecting this connection? What is directly affecting this connection? Ace of Pentacles in the world. Okay. Okay, so what's directly affecting the connection is you have the Ace of Pentacles and they have the world. So again, this person is ending something to begin something new and you have a brand new stable beginning. But they're coming out together and that's what's directly affecting this connection. So it's still not clear if, you know, this is someone that you're ending something with or if it's someone that you're coming together with. We'll, we'll know when we clarify. What is the outcome at the end of the week? What is the outcome at the end of the week? What is the outcome? <laughs> two of Cups and Two of Wands in the reverse. I guess spirit's going to keep me on my toes, keep me guessing here, because when you get two cards, it can, it, they can either be together or they can be like individual energy until you clarify. So at the end of the week, there is going to be, um, <laughs> two of cups is love. That That's love. It's a, it's a soulmate. Um, but we also see, um, the two of wands. So there's definitely choices being made. Um, but the two of wands in the reverse is not being chosen so yeah so that's interesting so i feel like the person you're connecting with here is they're at a crossroads they're definitely at a crossroads and um i feel like they're not making a choice so let's let's uh what's at the bottom of the deck nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck Okay, so that's Nine of Pentacles is all about being single. Um, it's uh, looking good, smelling good, um, feeling good. It's uh, but it's a solitary card. It's about basically you got it going on. So that's kind of the energy that's underlying everything here, and it's shared energy. So I'm wondering if this is two people who have met. But let's let's go in and see. Let's look deeper. All right, so why is the Page of Wands in reverse for Gemini? Why is the Page of Wands in reverse? <laughs> page of Wands in the reverse is clarifying the Page of Wands in reverse. So Gemini, you're definitely keeping your own counsel about something. And with the High Priestess in reverse, I feel as if, again, you're just not trusting your own intuition here. So you're you're keeping quiet. You're you're not really trusting your own tu intuition. Um, there may be something you you're keeping quiet about. You may feel like you know something, and you're keeping quiet about it. Um, 
Why is the King of Swords here? Justice and strength. So you're being very strong. You feel like you're doing the right thing. You are seated in your power. Can I have three for the bottom energy? Nine of Swords in the reverse. Four of Wands. And the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, so, so this has to do with stability. This has, um, this has to do with stability. It has to do with um, coming together, leveling up a connection um, from where it is. I think that right now um, you feel like you just don't quite know enough to level this up. You're a little confused about it, um, but I, I think you're not worried about it. You're not going to worry about it. So you're kind of just going with the flow here. Um, you're not going to worry about it. You, you're just keeping quiet, and you feel like you're doing the right thing here. You feel strong in your position. You feel like you're doing the right thing. Um, yeah, I, I feel like, I feel like, You've given up on um, you've given up on trying to say anything about this as well, um, or, or trying to trying to say anything about leveling it up. So it's interesting. I mean, your energy here, Gemini, is a, you're really keeping quiet. You've given up on saying anything about leveling this up, but you're not worried about it. You're not worried about it at all. You've got options. And, you know, you've got options and you're, you're just not concerned. You're not worried about it. You feel like you're doing the right thing. You feel very strong in your position and you may know something. There, there's something that you may know, but you're not going to, you're not going to say anything about it. So <laughs> I don't, it's a mystery. All right. So let's look at their energy. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands for the person Gemini is dealing with? Alright, so we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. And we have the World in reverse. Okay. So the person that um, you're, you're dealing with here, they, there's something that is not ended for them. And they're 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 upset about that. They're a little they're a little bit angry. The Queen of Swords in reverse is a bitch card. So they're being a little bitchy about something that's not quite over, that's not quite ended, and they're being a little bitchy about it, a little angry about it. Why is the Lord of Shadows here? Page of Swords in the reverse. And the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. So they're not saying something either. And it's what they're not saying is that they're feeling stuck. So they're keeping quiet about something. They're not really telling the whole truth about something. Well, I can't say the whole truth. It doesn't feel like they're lying. Um, but they're feeling stuck and they're not saying it. They're not coming forward with it. They're feeling stuck, and it has to do with this transformation, with this ending. And they're, that's what they're feeling bitchy about, too. Um, what What is the king of pentacles in reverse? Okay, so we have the three of pentacles and the king of swords. And so that's, that's you. So... So they, yeah, they want to, they want to have a contract. They want to level things up with you. They want to have a, a foundation with you, but there's, they're going to have to end something first and they're feeling stuck. They're not really talking about that, but they are, they're feeling stuck. There's something that hasn't quite ended for them. 
they're feeling a little bit, um, they're, they're feeling a little bitchy, a little angry about that. Um, so you're not really saying much. You're trying to do the right thing here. It's taken a lot of strength for you to do that, but you're definitely, um, you feel like you're doing the right thing. And you're just, you've given up on saying anything about, you know, bringing this to a higher level. And I think it's, but you're not worried about it at the same time, you know? And I think it's because you, you, um, you feel like there's no need to say anything. There's no need to. There's something you know, though. There's something you know that you've realized, perhaps. So you feel like there's no need for you to say anything. Interesting. All right, so let's see. Um, can I get two for the... Why is it by the swords in reverse? We have the Magician in reverse. And we have the Knight of Cups. So the big argument was about not bringing this connection together. It was about somebody not manifesting this offer of love. But the argument is over now. So there was a big argument in the past. I can tell you right now, Gemini, there is love here. But you're, you're in particular feeling like it's not manifesting. It's not coming forward. And that's what this big argument was about. But it's over. That argument is over. Um, and I think you've had a realization, too. Um, since then. So can I have three for the what's affecting the situation? Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Devil in Reverse. So that Nine of Pentacles, again, that's that um, repeating energy, very strong energy. So what's affecting, directly affecting the connection? Well, it's because of someone single. So someone in the connection is single. That would have to be you, Gemini, because this person is having to end something. And so I think that what is directly affecting this connection is that, you know, your person is seeing you as single and that they may be worried that you could be in and out, that you could be a player here. But in reality, I think that you would just like to have a stable start with this person. I think they're worried that you might be, you might be, you know, playing the field. Um, now for them, um, you would like to see them become single. And in order to do that, they're going to have to let go of something that's toxic. And that is what they're trying to do. There is a cycle that they are trying to end. And they are, they are trying to end that cycle. It's just not there yet, um, but it's almost there. I will tell you that, Gemini. Um, so this cycle has to end. It is a toxic cycle. They're going to have to release that toxicity to let this go and, and become single. Yeah, and, and that's, they're, they're having a hard time. They're, they're a little angry about it not transitioning as quickly as they had, had hoped. But it is going to, and I'll, I'll tell you this, and you know what, Gemini, they're, they're thinking you're angry that it's not done. I think they think you're the one that's angry, because that's air sign energy. I think they believe you're angry about it. I think they believe you're angry that it's not over. And they're feeling very stuck and they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to, you know, have that conversation, but they're feeling stuck during this transition. Because really and truly, Gemini, what they want to do is have, have a contract with you. They want to, they want to have a, a stable foundation. So the three of coins is like coming together and, and it's a contract to, in order to, build the eight to build up to the ace of pentacles the the stable new beginning and that's what they want to do but they know they have to release themselves from this um connection first all right so let's uh can i have three for the outcome please so what's directly affecting the connection is um the fact that one person is single and the other person needs to become single 
So we have the seven of pentacles in reverse. We have the four of pentacles and we have the hangman. So both of you are feeling a little impatient. Um, yeah, you're both feeling very impatient at this at this particular junction by the end of the week. Um, but I think that you're going to continue holding on because you see this person, Gemini, as a soulmate. Um, the person that you're connected with here, um, I will tell you that the they're they're waiting. There is a sense of waiting. There is a crossroads that they are at, and they're aware of it. They are also impatient. They're impatiently waiting here. And, you know, there, there, is, um, there is a decision that has to be made. So they, they're aware of it. They're aware of it. So the long and short of it is that, you know, this, uh, let me take the bottom of the deck first. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Okay, so something has to change here. Something has to budge. Something has to change. And it has to do with this whole th this whole being single. That's what has to change. Okay? So, the long and short of it here, Gemini, is that you feel like you're doing the right thing. You're holding your own counsel. You're not... There's something you've had a realization about here, but you don't feel a need to discuss it or talk about it. And I think that you, you're, you want to level this up. They do too. They want to level it up as well. There is a connection that has to end first. They are transitioning, but they feel very stuck in that transition. And I think that it's more so they think you're angry that this connection is not over yet. There has been a very big, ugly argument. And it had to do with you know, somebody not being able to manifest this offer of love, to, to bring forward this offer of love, to make an offer of love. And it's over. The argument is now over. But I do think that there's still some frustration left. And what's directly affecting this connection is you being single, Gemini, and, and them trying to become single. They have to release something toxic. And they're so afraid that you're going to be, you know, having liaisons elsewhere, but really and truly, you just want a stable start, and they really just want to end this other cycle so they can have a start. At the end of the day, at the end of the week, um, you're both going to be impatient. You're both, both going to be impatient. You're going to be holding on to the connection, seeing this person as your soulmate, and they're going to be waiting, um, waiting to make this choice. But they know they have to end something first. So let's get um, a tea leaf card for each person. And then we'll get one for the connection as well. So for you, Gemini. Okay, well, look at here. You have a timing card. Interesting. It says May. So I would think something's going to shake loose in May. And that's not really that far off. So something is going to shake loose for you in May. And for them, we have Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. So I don't know if um, they're dealing with someone who is stubborn and aggressive, and that might be why they're feeling stuck and feeling held back or held up. And then for the connection, we have Funnel, period of frustration and lessons to be learned. And that sounds very accurate to what the reading is saying. This is a period of frustration. You're both feeling frustrated and impatient for this, you know, to kind of move forward. So let's go ahead now, if you will, Gemini, and get a question in your mind. I'm going to do the Angel Answers Oracle and see if we can get an answer for you. Get a question. Pulling for Gemini. Pulling for Gemini. That was quick. Okay, so let's see, how do we want this? Okay, all right, so the answer is yes, don't stop. Yes, don't stop. And also, communicate clearly. 
So it's going to be important to communicate clearly. So yes, don't stop and communicate clearly. Okay. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you, Gemini. Um, if you would uh, like and share the video, be sure that you subscribe to the channel. And until I see you next week, namaste.